Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And we just got some leaks for the new year season year for eight season four operator called Turbara, which means shark in Portuguese. And his gadget is called the Zotto Canister. There's a video of what his gadget does. It's sort of like an alamine that he throws on the floor. Essentially, what this does is that it says here that it can be used as a trap that slows down attackers and leaves footsteps. So sort of like a trap. It can also be used to like let's say you throw it on one side of the wall, it will like freezes the other side of the wall. So similar to like a mute bandit arcade alternative. But yeah. And yes, for example, you also said that grenades cannot be cooked anymore. So a frag grenade rework has occurred where like you cannot cook grenades anymore, which I think is a massive nerf to grenades and those sort of operators. I do think it is good because that means like operators like pick rope won't be determined by like who has great grenades, like who they used to do. For example, Yana, like, Yana did, uh, IQ did, Maverick did, uh, who else had nades? Zero, I used to believe had nades, but yeah. So nades used to be picked, like operator used to be picked, like like the pick rate used to be to, to pick like like deciphered by how many like nades they have and now this should be like grenade enough across the board should eliminate that rather than them just like allowing them to swap out operators that have nades so that's a good change and I've heard of apparently turbo realm might be trans but yeah i guess that's just what it is and frax also says that emerald planes will play a big part in the law in year nine if you guys have not seen the new map the new map is called lair it seems to be like a really cool sort of like undercover hidden base and it is the dimosis or deimosis like lair so so his base undercover lab similar from the uh, law and stuff so similar to like how not haven labs was the base and operation hq of night haven the siege uh, team like the anti-siege team but yeah so that's all we have so far about the operator we've also got some other changes uh, coming out so we've got the zombie elite skin which is coming out on the 12th of november so in five days time from when this video is posted we've also got the defender ai playlist so for example you can play a defender and then attackers will rush according like they'll open hatches etc and the attacker one is coming out in year nine we've also got some new ranked requirements we don't know the specificities of that yet because it hasn't been announced but essentially what this means is that i guess you're gonna have to play like 20 casual matches similar to like valorant like for example to play ranked in valorant or some other games i don't know if it's specific to valorant you have to play like 20 casual matches or like 20 standard matches so yeah maybe they change that from just being like the current level level 50 because i understand that like being able to get to level 50 current level is crazy like it takes a lot of effort but yeah some other changes coming out, so we've got the new map, new operator, I think we're getting some balance changes with Dockerby, so the way Dockerby's getting reworked, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, is that she'll start the round off with one logic bomb, and every time she hacks a cam, or hacks someone, or kills someone, like, she will get an extra logic bomb, so let's say she kills three people, she'll have four logic bombs. This isn't to incentivize Dockerby to become sort of a roam operator, similar to like Jack, etc, rather than just being like a do-it-all operator, where you can just like run around and just rush operator, so yeah. Dockerby has like one of the highest pick and ban rates, so I'm not surprised. Dockerby is crazy. I think we're also getting some other changes. I don't know if you guys know this, but Jaeger and Solos have been rumored to get some 1.5 times on the P90 and on the 4.1C Carbine. So hopefully that, like, I think that'll be really good. I think Jaeger needs a little bit of a buff. Maybe some reduced recall. I also hope that Blackbeard and Clash get some tweaks. I know they said that stuff like that would be coming, but I'm not sure when they did. And yeah, so what do you guys wish for the new season? I hope they do a lot of balancing changes because I feel like the balancing changes, whilst they have not been many of them, they've been moving in towards the right direction. So that's also good to see. And hopefully we get more changes to sense. I think when you throw sense gadgets, it should be able to like show you, show where they're moving. So that should be pretty cool. And yeah, I think year nine is going to be one of the biggest seasons of Siege. But however, I'm quite skeptical skeptical because if you guys don't know, you know Ubisoft li literally like reduced like a lot of their workforce like i think they like laid off two percent of their workforce on ubisoft montreal maybe this was the team that worked on extraction but i'm pretty sure this is the team that works on siege so hopefully that can like change but yeah anyways that's all we know about year season four make sure to check out all my other videos we've got some other stuff coming out but yeah that should be all make sure you guys go check out the reveal it is on the sunday 12th of november yeah at around like 8 p.m i think uk time but yeah usually the reveal time but yeah have a good day have a good day guys take care see you guys later